Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's the German guy talking English now. We're taking over the world now, and we're gonna do map making. And today, we're gonna talk about the scheduled command, uh, which is coming in 1.14, the next major game update, the major content update. It already has a bunch of content and a bunch of new new stuff in it. It's great. It's crazy, though. It's it's really crazy. <laughs> this this update is that might be the best one yet. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna talk about the scheduled command. It's pretty simple. Uh, it just lets you... Uh, like, give the game a task and do it after a certain amount of time. So you can just schedule something. Wait, schedule. And then schedule a function. And I currently have no functions installed yet. We're going to enable the data pack right now. <laughs> but after that, let's just re pretend we have some Minecraft doppel uh, doppelpunkt. <laughs> Minecraft stuff right here. And uh, something like 10, 10 takes after that. Or like 20 takes. Or, I don't know. Uh... 30 seconds and it will run that function after 30 seconds after 10 takes after one day however you want to do it uh s stands for seconds t stands for ticks and a d stands for d days <clears throat> family friendly here we're not gonna <laughs> we want the ads though okay that's that's it that's how you do it um and we're, we're gonna enable a data pack right now uh data pack wait a minute data pack enable <laughs> and file schedule cool and uh, now what's going to happen is we're going to see a short lag spike because we enabled data pack. And then we see uh, every time a second passed, <laughs> it says in the chat, it's really simple. It's new clock now. This is in the game now. <laughs> That's really useful, though. Uh, we're gonna, just going to see whenever a second passes. And we're, we're also going to see whenever three seconds pass. And it's really, really uh, awesome. We're going to see when a, when a minute passes. We're not going to see that. We're not going to stay here for a minute and talk about that shit. Um, instead, we're going to go to the desktop and see how I did that. Um, it's really simple how to use it. You're just here to know how to use it in a data pack, are you? Me too. Um, that's pretty simple. Um, in the in the load function, so in, in a data pack, you, you also have a, a load and a take function. A load function just starts whenever the game is started, whenever a world is started, or whenever you say reload, or whenever a, a uh, server is started, or if if the if an admin on the server uh, reloads a data pack or reloads the game. And whenever that, that happens, this, this function here will now schedule functions after a certain amount of time, or if you want to, you can also schedule it all at the same time. Because I want to uh, see uh, every time some, something uh, passes and not want to uh, call every function right when when this uh, when this when, when I reload it because it wouldn't make sense. I wouldn't want at the start of the of the uh, data pack to say one second pass, three second pass, and thirty second pass at the same time. So I'm going to schedule those as well right when I initiate them uh, to to be called at three seconds later, one second later, and then th uh, sixty seconds later. And in these commands, uh, in these functions itself, they're going to call themselves again and <laughs> tell them. I let's 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 redo that what we just did because that was great. So it says one second passed and it, then it's going to schedule the function schedule second which is the, the 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 second function will just call itself after one second again. Uh, also this 3 second function will call itself after 3 seconds again and this minute function will call itself after the 60 seconds again. So this is how you use um how you use this, but what does it really mean? Why do you want to do this? It's pretty simple. It's uh, just to, to optimize your game, right? Uh, if if you want to, I don't know, give give players a certain amount of uh, durability or I don't know, like an effect when they when they wear certain armor. Like if you, if you want to give a anyone that has a full golden armor speed, doesn't really make sense because gold is really heavy. But if you, if you want to do that, if you want to buff the golden armor and you want to want to check for that. You, you'd have to check for the player NBT, you have to check its inventory, and that's gonna use a lot of uh, resources, that a lot of CPU power from the server or from your PC. And so you, you don't really need to test it every every tick, you, you might actually want to test it every second or every two seconds even, because you're not gonna switch uh, armor that, that, that often, right? Mods do that as well. Um, and so should you. <laughs> so just use that every second, right? Use use a self-calling function that calls itself every second instead to to like that that's like a twentieth of the of the original CPU usage. So you're gonna optimize that a lot. This this is gonna improve your game a lot, especially if you want to do vanilla mods, if you want to do survival things, just just use that. Also, um, do not use this for 
personal cooldowns, right? You don't want uh, you don't want a, a, if, you, if you have a mini game, right? And you, you want to I don't know give yourself a tag uh, with yo yo my my ability is ready. Then use the ability with your carrying a stick or something, and then uh, schedules uh, schedule the command to be ready again. Like give yourself the tag I am ready again. Don't do that. Use scorebots for player specific stuff. So if you have ability cooldown, if you have something that I don't know, if you have a load up, some stuff like that. If you have a magic wand and you want to charge it first, don't use scheduled stuff for that. Use scorebots instead. Player specific stuff, always scorebots. And if you want to do uh, world related stuff, if you want to I don't know, load a level in a in a um, adventure map, and maybe let something explode in the level for. I don't know when, whenever the the timing is right. When you can use that, uh, especially with uh, with voice acting, if you have a a, a tape running, and then uh, just let him talk, and then oh whoa, what's happening there? And then something explodes, and whoa, and that's like more immersive. That's cool game design. That's something that's very interesting. Do that. Don't use that for uh, for players, right? Schedule is for worlds only. Something like <laughs> like pressing buttons and and command blocks and stuff like that. It's just for the world. Cool, and you also see the, how the minutes pass every time I keep on rambling. So I don't want to make uh, it that long. I don't want to uh, want the minutes to pass away that easy. Um, see you in the next one. Hope you liked it. Hope this helped you. And if you want to support the channel, leave a like. It means a lot. Sub to the channel. And uh, also, <laughs> other English um, map making creators looking at you, uh, hit me up. I want to do collaborations, guys. I'm I'm really alone. I'm desperate. I want to do collabs. B boys, help me out here. <laughs> Good. Um, see you in the next video. And auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde. <laughs>